What's a kink your partner slash ex has that you went along with because you love them? One ex loved hot wax. I'm a hairy mother for. Not fun. Just really wrenching on her nipples. I was holding back a bit because I didn't want to hurt her, I wasn't feeling great about it, but she kept saying harder and harder and finally when I went full on, she had a really intense organism. I hooked up with a guy who wanted me to scratch his gums with my fingernails, hard. It was horrifying. It makes me squirm just to think about it. My ex liked to be ignored. He'd F me while I was playing video games, working, scrolling social media, etc. She has a daddy kink and I have a mommy kink. It got weird fast. X liked having seg in a cow-themed bikini with horns and cowbell. The only thing I hated was the cowbell it got very annoying real quick, cow, cow. Stabbed me in the arm with a pencil and then drank my blood before I could even react. Anytime I start getting thoughts about missing her I just tell myself she stabbed you with a pencil and drank your blood. Like a Capri Sun. What's the most hurtful thing you've overheard about yourself by accident? I saw two girls that I ruined with for a short while in college have been publicly posting on Facebook about how weird, annoying, and disrespectful I was. Their reasoning was that I was taking an 8 to 30 AM class and only weirdos do that, and that I made a ton of noise every morning and disrupted their sleep. It hurt because I tried really hard to not be disruptive. I wouldn't let my alarm go off because I woke up naturally around the time it was scheduled and would just turn it off before it beat partially out of anxiety. I changed clothes in the bathroom, tiptoed everywhere, and wouldn't even eat or zip my backpack in the room because I wanted to be quiet. As far as I knew, neither of them woke up any of those mornings and they never said anything to me about it. Waiters, what Valentine Day disasters have you witnessed? It was like a movie. I was bartending at an Italian restaurant, not a fancy one but still, and it's pretty much full of Valentine's dates. A guy walks in and sits at the bar by himself, looking pretty down. He asked for a whiskey, so I poured it, told him it was on the house because he looked like he needed it. He proceeds to tell me his story, he had come to the city to surprise his girlfriend for Valentine's, about a five-hour bus trip between cities and he sure surprised her. She was in her dorm room fucking one of his friends from high school. He didn't know what to do, so he just walked into the first place that sold drinks. I spilled as much whiskey as he wanted and watched the Raptors with him. Never saw him again. It's cliche, but it happened. Have you ever caught someone talking about you in another language? Yes. During my honeymoon, in one of my languages. My husband and I were looking forward to trying the Japanese restaurant in our resort in Antigua. For our disgrace we get seated with three loud couples who have met each other in the days before. They are all Italian. I am Italian, but look more Brazilian, and speak only English with my husband, who is Australian. We are not even one minute into the dinner and they start saying we look like dead people because we are not loud like them. They also start talking about our hideous clothing and we look like the elderly. We were in our early 30s. I translate everything to my husband in front of them. They don't get it. I let it go. Then they keep saying it and I let it go. They even wonder how funny would it be if we could understand them. I let it go. Eventually they become rude to the waiters and chef and make fun of them. I cannot hold it anymore. One of them invites the others for a cheers with their glasses, looks at me, I join and say in perfect Italian sin sin a voi ragazzi, cheers to you guys, with my most Milanese accent. Their face turns white and they stop talking. The first time ever since the dinner, they can hardly look at us. So I excuse us from the table and wish them in Italian a happy continuation of their night. What's one thing your partner doesn't know? My kid had made me a heart type thing at school and wanted to give it to me. I told him it was great but that I always get the stuff he makes from school. Instead he should put my GF's name on it because she'll love it. He gave it to her and she melted. She's got it on the fridge and has been showing it off for two weeks to friends and family. She keeps saying stuff like it was so nice he thought of me and he spelled my name right and he's so sweet and on and on. It'll just be me and his secret. No lying. Did you regret having children? I have a son with a woman who mistakenly thought I was much wealthier than I was. She thought I was rich planned everything out to make sure she had my kid. That trait she possessed was, sadly, far from her worst. I tried to stay with her for his sake, sadly I was unable to do so, instead I switched to weekends only. Eventually her drinking and smoking caught up with her and I seized the moment and took him when he was 9. He is the son in my life. He's a joy to be around, respects me and appreciates all I've done and do for him. He's exactly how I would make sons for everyone if had the power. He's 14 now and although we still have the traditional father-son relationship, we're also close buddies. If he were taken from me, I can't see how I'd be able to move forward. He's easily the best thing in my life, and I love my wife and dogs. Nothing could make me regret having him. That's crazy talk. 